Yo guys, it is Chase and welcome to this brand new video here on this channel. Today I'm showing you guys how to live stream using OBS Open Broadcaster software. I'm actually always using this program to live stream. So uh, if you ever watch my live streams or anything like that, you can see the quality is good and I know what I'm doing. So um, first off, this is my desktop screen. Um, so many of you guys ask me to do this live stream tutorial because I made a recording tutorial as well. If you guys want to see that, you know what to do. The link is in the description. So I'm opening up OBS Studio right now. Um, there is something going on with the scenes and the sources where, of course, you have to put the scene and then you have to put wh whatever you want to record. For example, the display right now, this is, uh, this is like repeating itself all the time because I'm recording this display with it as well. But if you want to know how that works, same link in the description and uh, check it out. We're going to talk about, we're going to dive into the settings, which are the important thing for live streaming. So once you open that up, you will see general stream, output, audio, video, hotkeys, advanced. We're going to dive in video because first off, I want my video settings to be correct. Um, I have my video settings correct right here. I've got them on 920 by 1080, which means full HD. 1080 is full HD. Um, you can also put this to 720. This is what a lot of streamers do, but my PC can handle this combined. The thing is, you can stream full HD or 720. You can both do that, but you got to look at the frame rate. like. Most games you play are in 60 frames per second, FPS. So the common FPS value for me, my stream is 60. You can put this on 30, but every second you will have 30 frames per second and not 60, which 60 makes the video, the game you're streaming, for example, a game, makes it much smoother. It makes it really smooth. And that's actually what you want. You want to create that. Not every PC can actually handle uh, 60 frames per second plus the full HD. And that's why a lot of people go for like, I want the 60 frames per second, but my PC just can't handle full HD. We're going back to 720. You can do that. I'm doing it like this um, because my PC can actually handle that. Um, we got downscale filter. This is just to make the video, the full HD or the 720 look so much sharper. I've got it on uh, thir uh, 32 sharp than scaling. Uh, this makes the full HD almost looks freaking full 4K. It's like that, that's that sharp. That's what I want to create, that effect. Um, this is everything you need to know about what is going on with the video. Okay, now we're at the output settings. Like how do you want to uh, deliver, how do you want to deliver the video? This is what this is about. So first off, you go to output mode. I always put it on advanced. You have more things to use. If you put it on simple, uh, you, you just don't have this much options. So you have to put it on advanced. Uh, audio track, I always have it on one. If I stream, I got audio track on one. You can put more audio tracks on. For example, if you're like recording, for, for me, I would do this with recordings. I would like record my gameplay audio and my microphone audio separately so I can both edit these separately. Like I can put my equalizer on the on my microphone audio without even touching the gameplay audio. And that's why that's how I would do that. But for streaming, I'ma just leave it like that. There's no reason for me at least to get more audio tracks on the live stream. Uh, the encoder is the graphics card, the video card you are going to use. Uh, I'm actually using my uh, 1070 Ti from Phoenix. Uh, you can just select it over here. It helps you so much if you got a video card. Otherwise, you have to run everything on your uh, processor. And uh, that is not going to end up uh, very well, I would say. Um, then you also have rescale output. You can have 1080 in your video, but you can also just rescale it back to 720. I think it looks sharper. I have no clue why you would do that. Or maybe your platform can't really handle it where you're streaming to, but I'm always going video 1080 and also the rescale output to 1080. So at the end, YouTube 
in my in my uh, example, YouTube is always receiving the 1080 uh, from me. So the bit rate. When I stream, I put my bit rate on VBR uh, because it's flexible. If you're like your internet speed isn't that good, or you sometimes have peaks, or something goes down too fast, and your uh, your connection just can't keep up with the information you want to send to your platform. Uh, this is going to be a struggle if you put it on CBR because it's actually going to say, oh, oh, we don't have enough information. And what happens is the watchers, the watcher will get so much buffering. They, they won't watch anymore because it's pretty irritating because there's the buffering coming over and over again. So I have it on VBR because this is, makes it fl more flexible. Uh, the thing is it sends less bit rates out to YouTube just to keep it running. That's really awesome. That's, that's what I always use. Uh, the bit rate is actually how much information are you going to send? I don't know that much about live streaming and about bit rates, but I do know how you select it. And it is, uh, I got some information on the screen for you guys right now, what you should do um, streaming your video to, for example, Twitch or YouTube. Um, you have to test this out for yourself. You just gotta like stream and uh, change it all the time until it looks until it looks good, until your internet and your game can handle it at the same time and stuff like that. Like if OBS can handle it, if your PC can handle this, you can put it high up. I got it at 5,500. Believe me, this is pretty big. This is pretty high for a, a live stream. You're sending lots of information, but you still wanna, for example, play Fortnite live. So you have to connect to Fortnite, to the Fortnite servers and you're connecting to the YouTube or the Twitch servers. So you have to do these things at the same time so you can't put it too high up because it will mess up and uh, you can't send that much information at the same time. I hope I just explained this in a good way to you guys. Uh, if I didn't, I'm sorry, but this is all I can tell about this. So with the bit rate, you always have to check what your internet connection is and how do you do that you just go to Google and you type in speed test there are so many different sites where you can check out what your connection is uh, I'm using this one right here I click on go and first off it shows you your download speed you see my my download speed is pretty high up it's almost on 400 megabytes per second Wow, this thing is so good. What's up? It's actually not about your download speed. It's all about your upload speed and your ping. Your ping has to be as low as possible and your upload speed has to be as high as possible. So if you get a low upload speed, you can't really stream with a lot of bit rates. You really have to have a, a high upload speed. I've got 40 megabytes per second, which I'm really proud of because that is really, really high for an upload speed and it's also really expensive. So I don't know too much about these settings, but I also think those are not too important. I think this is default, but I'm not sure. But you, you should put your B frames on uh, on two. Um, and uh, now I'm going to show you guys the very, very last thing, which is stream. The thing you have to select above here, streaming services to stream to a streaming service. Uh, then you can select different services like Twitch, YouTube, Smashcast, Mixer, Mixer, Daily Motion, Facebook Live, Restream.io, Live Edu TV. I have no clue what that is. <laughs> and Twitter. I didn't we can just live stream to Twitter from OBS. But you got so many different platforms. There are more of them that you can see in here. There, there are way more. But uh, I'm gonna just stream to YouTube slash YouTube gaming. That's where I'm streaming to. Now you've got the streaming key, huh? What is a streaming key? It's actually not really hard. If you go to YouTube for this time, you just go to your YouTube live stream. You go to, yeah, blah, 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 live streaming, uh, now live streaming, and you go all the way down here. It would just say stream name slash stream key. This is, if you click on view right here, this shows you the key, you can copy it, and paste it into uh, into your OBS. Never show this key to anyone. If any, if someone has your key, it's it's really annoying. Cause I, if I have your key, I don't need your YouTube password, Twitch password. I just put in the key and start streaming on your account. So this is really dangerous. Never click on show while you're streaming. Never give the key to anyone you don't trust at all. Basically, don't give the key to anyone. You can't trust anyone, so don't do it. Uh, so the key is really important. Uh, nobody has, nobody needs that key. Only you 
need need that key. Uh, you can also change this key uh, whenever you want. So so it's not one like someone else has the key. Um, you're uh, basically screwed. And you can never change the key anymore. Just click. You go to face. You go to YouTube right here. You go to view and you go to change. And I'm not not viewing anything, but uh, that's actually how it works. So once you have everything correct, you don't really have to look at the settings anymore. Only the bitrate speed is really important because if your PC like handles it, oh, this is great. And one week later, your internet connection is a little bit less good. Uh, it can just mess it up, you know? You gotta like check out the bitrate a couple of times a week when you're live streaming. And uh, that's basically how this all works. So uh, we've, we've done this all. The only thing we have to do is click on the start streaming button. Uh, you don't really have to click on that button specifically. You can also go to advanced, oh no, to hotkeys, I mean, and you can actually get your own uh, hotkeys. For for example, you you have OBS on the left side and you don't want to go out of your game with the mouse, the cursor out of your game, click it. You just go, um, I've got it on start streaming is Ctrl Alt Shift O. Ctrl Alt Shift O, if I click these buttons, click, all four of them then I actually go live I have this for recording as well um, I just find it easy and uh, you guys should do with it whatever you want to do so uh, if you guys really like this video and found it interesting um, if I helped you out let me know in the comments down below in the description uh, I'll have some videos up for you guys and uh, for more explanation about OBS if you guys really like it, if I helped you out, give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Guys, we're still growing really fast. I'm really enjoying YouTube, my YouTube career so far. We're growing fast. We're having fun. And uh, I'm learning you guys so, so many things. There was Cheese. I will check you guys out in the next video here on this channel. There was Cheese. Peace.